Good morning everybody. Well, the sky is blue. Not a cloud in the sky, but look at that road there. Covered in uh, frost and ice. Uh, my car, well, the, the daytime car, particularly the same. So, there's only one thing for it that we can do with a stag. So let's pop into the garage and we're gonna give her a lovely service. Okay, so today we're just going to do a very basic service. It's just going to be oil change, spark plug change, air filter change. Before I get the engine started and warmed up ready for the oil change, there are a couple of things that I like to get done first. I prefer working on a cold engine to change the spark plugs and to change the air filter. This saves me getting burnt fingers when it comes to changing the plugs because we then get rather close to the exhaust manifold. So let's get the hood up and we'll crack on from here. Now something else I do recommend is that uh, you put a, a towel down or something like that over the side of the engine, uh, wing rather, so that in case you drop anything, you don't scratch your paint dipstick out of the way, take off the HT leads, right, just like to get them loose and then I can take them out with my fingers later. a bottle out of the way. So we can see these two. Let's just zoom in nicely on these two so you can see. Do you actually can see just how close that is to the exhaust manifold? And you can just imagine how many times I've burnt my fingers on that. So don't really fancy doing that again. That's that one. Ooh, in you go, that's it. Let's get you right out of the way. out. Right, just have a little look at them, make sure that we haven't got oil or soot, uh, you know, sort of oil build up on them. They look nice and dry. Uh, let's just have a look at uh, a couple of the other ones. And the focusing isn't wanting to play. There we go, so we'll go to that. Yeah, so here we go. Let's have a look at these two. Are we going to focus? There we go, that's better. So they're looking pretty dry. A little bit of soot, but absolutely fine. So, four new plugs to go in. Just tighten these 
those up a little bit. Um, one thing to bear in mind if you've, if you've not done this before on a stag is we've got aluminium heads. So you don't want to over tighten your plugs and strip the threads. That's also why I like doing these when the engine is cold, much less likelihood of stripping the threads when you've got a cold engine. Do you know what, there seem, always seems to be plenty of room in the engine bay of a stag until you want to actually get to just the bit that you want to get to. And then for some silly reason, of course, there's never quite enough room on the bit that you're actually wanting to do. Right, I'm going to zoom in on these two so that uh, hopefully you get a good view. So they're finger tight at the minute, that's engaged. I'm thinking round about quarter of a turn. There we go. That just takes it nicely tight, but not over tight. Same thing again, it's finger tight here. There we go, engaged. And then... Okay, that's just taken a little bit more than a quarter of a turn, but that's absolutely fine. Lovely. Let's put our leads back on. And making sure when we do, that we get a nice little click as the heads engage on the top of the plug. So, first one. There we go, that was a click. Another click. Where are we now? Where's, which one goes to which? There we go, that's the furthest one. Click. Click. Right. And now, we'll put the water bottle back on. So here we are, ready around the other side of the car, and uh, let's get these four little critters done. Right, get these unplugged. job I'm gonna do I'm pretty sure I never do right and it's the air filter and I always have to take off um, like a little rubber seal that goes around the um, actual filter itself now if anybody knows how to get the air filter with the rubber seal inside and this top back on 
then I'd love to know. I really would. So you'll, I'll, I'll, I'll struggle. I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I, I can't get it on. But if anybody can show me what I'm doing wrong, or tell me what I'm doing wrong, I would be very, very grateful indeed. So let's dive into it. Okay, here goes then. So, there we go. Okay, so f for me, what the problem always seems is that there is never enough gap between the bottom of that lip and where the, um, well, as you can see here, I've taken off the um, seal. So let's get rid of that, because that's the old one. Put that there for a second. So here's the new one, and it's got this rubber seal that goes all around it. And when I put it into place here, there is so little space just here that I just don't seem to be able to um, get the top on. Because of course we've got a seal underneath here, which means that this is fitting. And it's not that the seal isn't supposed to be there because you've got a groove for it. So I'm just wondering, because I've already got a seal that goes all the way around the edge here, which then makes a nice flush. Do you know what? You know what I should do here, don't I? <clears throat> I should do an homage. Let me just go like this. I should be doing an homage to Chris at Church House Classics when I'm talking about a seal, shouldn't I? Or, 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 or. I just suddenly, so I couldn't help that. Chris, if you're watching, I do apologize. Anyway, back to said air filter. So yeah, I'm reckoning that because I've got a seal already in the air filter case, that's why it doesn't fit. But please, somebody tell me if I've got that wrong. Let's just uh, move the camera back down now, shall we? So let's put it there so that you can see what I'm doing. So this should just drop into place nicely there. It does. It comes out nice and easily too. It is lying on the seal. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I've got to stop doing that. I really have got to stop doing that. Probably find that Chris has copywritten it. And look at that. Perfect. That just goes straight back down now. Let's get that little hook out of there. there. We go. Right. Okay. So that's the air uh, filter and the plugs done. Next thing to do, oil change. <sighs> so the uh, Plugs have been changed, air filters changed, and so now it's time to warm up the engine and let's get the oil changed and the oil filter. Oh yes. Right, we'll just... Uh, Wait until the engine starts to settle a bit. And then we'll ease that choke. What a beautiful sound. lovely <laughs> it is so cold today just look at all of that steam yep very cold oh boy 
And you just think that that is smoke and it's not. It's just steam. Anyway, okay. Let's get the uh, car jacked up while the engine's running. Okay then guys, so, as you can see here, I opt for the old-fashioned oil filter housing. Don't like the um, new, uh, what do you call it, um, twist on. It's just another seal to leak. Arr, arr. Sorry, Chris, just had to, couldn't help it. Right, so let's get the oil drained. There we go. What have I done here? Oh, I know what I've done. Because <laughs> that was a bit stiff. I've knocked my lighting off. That's why I can't see anything. Right, let's just put that back on there, shall we? There we go. We should all have a good view. Of course, the only thing you can't see is that. If you're at completely the wrong angle, and I will get the camera covered in oil if I put that there. So let's just move this slightly out of the way so that uh, I can get this undone. But I'm sure you guys are going to get the gist of what's going on when all that oil starts come puthering out. Right, <clears throat> let's get that container ready. Have I got tissues ready? Yes. Not tissues for crying. Just point that one out. <laughs> this is gonna get dirty. Right, here we go. And here it comes. Hey, hey! I've done it, literally, without spilling a drop. So what I'm going to do now, uh, that is nicely pouring into that receptacle. I'm just going to lower the car slightly so that uh, we've got a more even um, or level sump. Okay, so now that we've got the filter off, the next job we've got to do is get this seal off that's just here. And I find that a bit of a, of a job to do. So I tend to use two very small electrical screwdrivers and then I can just kind of wet, get, get them off. And then of course it's important when you replace the seal with the new one that comes with the kit that uh, you just lubricate it a little bit first. So I've uh, cleaned out the inside of this replacement oil filter they used to come with a seal on one side but nowadays they've got a ridge so um, they will locate automatically and that just goes down the center of this so whether you can see yeah there we go so that just fits in there Jobs are good and sorted. So now all I've got to do is just screw this back on. The seal's already in place, ready for it. And uh, we're done. Yeah, 
that's it, nicely seated correctly. Now I've heard the secret of this is don't over tighten. So that should be about right. Now then, that also now means we can get the oh, sump plug tight, tighten back up again. Oh, that's nice. No, it's fine. <laughs> You're on camera, by the way. So, my, my beautiful partner has just offered me a cup of coffee. God, it'd be rude to turn that down now, wouldn't it? So, I'll, I'll come in for it, Nandina, thank you. Ah, shows this is live. There we go. And that's done up as tight as I can get it. Right, so, time for a coffee. <laughs> so, what perfect timing is that? Time for a cup of coffee and then we'll get the uh, oil nice, clean, gorgeous green oil back in the car. Okay, so now to put that uh, gorgeous green stuff in. Uh, so, nice little bit of Duckham's. No product placement on this film, by the way. Just what I use, I love it. Okay, so I've got a bit of oil here. green stuff. It's kind of a bit of a tinge of a bit of regret with uh, pouring this can in that I'm going to be moving south Oop, down to Kent in the summer. And there isn't a Dockham's distributor in the southeast. Well, not down in Kent anyway. I've looked, can't find one. So I'm gonna have to find a different brand of oil for the engine. location of the dipstick. I always have to have a little bit of light on for this. Can never see my way as to uh, where we are. Right. Can never find the hole. <laughs> where misses. <laughs> complaints now aren't we? Right, let's just uh, let's put this down here so you can just have an idea as to what I'm talking about. Look, it's just down there. There's that. Where are we now? This camera angle's not probably very good. So there we go, out it comes. Okay, nothing on it yet. But I challenge you, can you see where that hole is? No, exactly. You can't find it without a, night, a good little bit of light. Hey, hey, we have oil. And that was a good guess. It's telling us. We're exactly at the right level. Let's just do that again. Excuse me. Yep. Just below the top level. Fab you less. And that's her done for another 3,000 miles. 
Well, there you have it. <clears throat> Basic service. Spark plugs, air filter, oil change. Um, next episode, I'm going to be doing the checks. So things like timing, fan belt, alternator belt, um, doing the grease nipples on the drive shaft, um, brake uh, pad thickness. I know my front brakes are fine because as you know on a previous one I only changed the complete front brake system over in the summer but need to check the rear brakes make sure they're okay. Should be fine because it's not like you do an awful lot with your rear brakes. Um, but yes, um, so that's that. So drive safely, stay safe, see you next time. If you've enjoyed this video please do click on the like and subscribe buttons. And if you click on the bell, YouTube will be good enough to even notify you when we post new videos.